Hey, good morning. Um, <clears throat> it's 26 degrees outside, and I'm sitting in the park <clears throat> drinking my coffee, which is something I normally do. This, <laughs> this video was originally going to be about bullets. Yeah. From my ammo sexual side, I was going to talk about bullets for new gun owners. But now I'm pissed. Uh... And it has nothing to do with bullets. It has to do with this, <clears throat> this phrase that I've started hearing a, a few months ago. And it's called build better together. Now, my original thought when I first heard that was fluffy, you know, I mean, fluffy, right? And I didn't pay it any attention. And then I started hearing it. Almost 100%, well, 100% from liberals, Democrats specifically running for office, whether local or the presidency. And I went, they all went to the same conference. They all got the same, they all got the same uh, messaging sheets. You got to say this because this represents us, us, meaning their platform or whatever. And then this morning, uh, I was watching some news footage um, and it had some excerpts from the World Health Organization, the head of the World Health Organization, uh, a UN entity, separate, and uh Leaders from the G20, Bill Gates, you get the picture, Bloomberg, and they all said the same three words. We need to build better together. Now, <clears throat> my brain says that is a reaction to uh, uh, Donald Trump's presidency, who pretty much gave the finger to globalist um, entities. We, that You can argue right or wrong. You can argue right or wrong, good or bad. The fact is, that's what he did, and it pissed off a lot of countries, and a lot of countries got mad at the United States. Guilt by association. Um, now, so my thinking is the build better together mantra, because it is now a mantra, now that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have have are the presumptive nominees or presumptive yeah presumptive nominees, they will become more than that once the electoral college votes. But <clears throat> my point is is that this mantra is out there, and and because it's only coming, it's only coming from uh, left, and in this country, Democrat, and then around the world, globalist thinking people, leaders. My spidey sense goes up. My spidey sense goes up and I go, WTF, whiskey, tango, foxtrot on that, right? I mean, when, it, when, when everybody, when, when you have a whole bunch of people at varying levels saying exactly the same thing, the game is afoot. That means that there is a coordinated effort <clears throat> to do something or a series of somethings. <clears throat> now, this channel is all about in your defense. It is all about the Second Amendment. It is all about the Constitution. It is all about freedom, liberty, uh, being prepared in a practical way and so forth. Uh, and so, and, and, and I'm a, a libertarian if one has to put a label on me. The things that I believe in, that Christian dominionist people would freak out over, and to them I go, go screw yourself, I don't care, because I don't do religion, on this, personally or on this channel. But my point is, is that the game is afoot. 
there is now a coordinated effort to start communicating things. And it came about, those three words started right in the middle of the pandemic when it was clear that we would have we would be in this mess over a year more than a year it will be almost 18 months before this country comes to any sense of normalcy and in in many places are no longer under threat of people being arrested bullied and otherwise screwed with by health departments who are unelected and politicians who are just smelling themselves. And I'm talking about a uh, liberal Democrat or Democrat. But let me come back to the three words, build better together. Now, in my day job, I'm a consultant. So when I hear stuff like that, I go, okay, let's, let's parse that. Build what? Build what? Explain to me the what that's going to be built because the assumption is the assumption is that something has been destroyed and requires building correction requires rebuilding or there is something new that needs to be built now that's a head scratcher for me because when you say those three words and you're talking about the united states of america <laughs> I'm going, the last time we did the build part, it was called the revolution. So are people talking about, let's have a revolution as opposed to a civil war, a revolution where we destroy everything? The answer to that is yes. There are people in the street, left wing Antifa, who Black Lives Matter, I'm gonna do a whole thing about that lie, but Black Lives Matter, saying we need to tear it down to rebuild it. That is a dangerous mindset. So build, dangerous mindset. Build what? Build what? Build the thing that they want to literally tear down. That's where all the defund the police, get rid of all prisons, uh, release everybody, uh, uh, committing a crime while enraged in a protest is no longer a crime thanks thank you portland for that gem right build better uh, in what way or ways would something be better in what ways now i can think of some ways for me that i strongly believe in i strongly believe that health care for every swinging Richard in this country is a right, not a privilege. And everyone, no one should be forced to go bankrupt or die or remain sick because they cannot get access, affordable access to health care. I hate health insurance companies. I hate the idea of health insurance. If we could put every health insurance company out of business, I would be totally happy with that, right? There is no right, guarantee right, that any company or any business should remain in business. They remain in business because of the market and or the market can be, can be government regulation. But all health insurance companies do is suck 30 to 40% of the money out of the healthcare delivery system rant over on that subject. That's just one example. I'm a strong believer, as you all know, in our right to keep and bear arms without compromise. Take no prisoners. The only common sense gun laws are no gun laws. No gun laws. That's common sense to me. So now you kind of have a feel for how I roll. Better. What would be better? And why would it be better? No one is talking about that other than the platform that I hear anti-gun primarily, uh, which requires the disarmament of the citizens. The disarmament of citizens has been a United Nations goal for 30 years. 
and the United States of America is the last man standing against that stupid shit. We are the last man standing and we need to be the last man. If, if, if nobody else is standing and we're the last man standing because we blew up everybody else, I'm totally down with that. Totally down with that. Just keep in mind, the United States of America is the only country in the world to ever release nuclear bombs twice on the same country. So it's easier to do it the second time. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do not screw with us. Do not screw with us. Because the only crazy people on the planet are Australians and Americans. Right? And we were Americans before they were Australians. Do not mess with crazy people. Because when we lose our shit, so what would be better? What would be better? No one can answer that question. Other than gun control, right? Together. Oh, that's the one that just frosted my ass. Together. This country has not been together if you want to look at it, if you want to look at it that way, ever, ever. Melting pot, the biggest lie foisted on the American people ever. We're not a melting pot at all. Go to Chicago. Go to Chicago and look at how every ethnicity has created their own little micro, micro community. Uh, inside of Chicago. Now, I'm totally cool with that, frankly, because that means that you want good XYZ food, you're going to go there. You want to get some good Jamaican jerk whatever, you go to the Jamaican side and you feel what I'm saying. You want to hear different types of music, you want to you want to get down with the brothers and sisters in Chicago, you go down to the Cotton Club and you hear blues and you get to do stepping in the back. Being being separate culturally doesn't mean being separated in that sense. So together, um, what does that mean? What does that mean together? Today, 73 million people who voted Republican, when I say Republican, they, for the president, are now being disrespected literally just like, just like when uh, uh, Hillary and, and Obama use the term the deplorables, or another term is hiding behind the guns and bullets and Bible, which was a terrible thing to say to Americans. You don't, I mean, frankly, I think religion should be out of politics. We should not have preachers standing up and telling people who to vote for from the pulpit. Right. They need to stay in their lane and talk about salvation and all that other whatever they talk about. Right. Well, that didn't start happening until 2000, by the way, because prior to 2000, you know, churches and everything, they didn't care. They were in the they were into God and Jesus and that other stuff. But that changed in 2000. Now, fast forward to now. Let's talk about we're trying to talk about together. Right. You don't insult people. With whom you want to be together. That's brain dead. That's brain dead, right? Personally, personally, I I am able, to, and so are many people, able to 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 interact with, and and work closely with, uh, and and be productive with people from all kinds of of beliefs. Why? Because it's a common goal. There is no common goal that the American people, the American people as a people can get into. Everything is divisive. The last common goal in my lifetime that I remember was John F. Kennedy making his speech about getting to the moon in 10 years. And I was a kid, I was a kid, I was a kid in high school. And I, it brought tears to my eyes because I thought that was the coolest thing and I remember that because I remember the reaction of the American people when the when the Soviet Union successfully launched Sputnik. 
the first satellite in space. It fucked us up because we thought we were the greatest nation in the world. And those Soviets beat us to it. It messed us up. But it galvanized the American people against into a common goal. And that common goal was the conquest of space. We don't have anything like that now. So what's the, the together thing? What is the thing? Well, they're saying, well, use your compassion. Stay home. Wear a mask. You know what? And the horse you rode in on. Because all that's doing is separating people into the rule followers and the non-rule followers. The ones that we have to go and force with guns and the ones that we know are going to get into the showers just because we told them to, if you feel me. So build what better how together are you high right if you hear anyone say those three words challenge it challenge it challenge it to their face challenge it in writing if you if you read about it but challenge it do not let those three words get into your brain and you not challenge the person who is saying them the response will be enlightening and with that y'all thanks for watching subscribe hit the bell share and comment thanks for watching carry on